Oh. Oh, where am I? Oh, oh. This isn't Narnia. Camo Fitness is what I like to call a once in a blue brand. They don't necessarily have monthly drops, but when they do have a launch once in a blue moon, it's usually pretty lit. Speaking of blue, I think we have a little theme here today. Their new collection is the Azure collection, which is totally fitting because once you guys get a gander at this color palette, I mean, you can see it, right? Colors are popping off the screen, especially these light blues. So if you're a cool tone gal, if you love yourself some blues, this video is for you. But don't get it twisted. They're also launching new products that we haven't seen before either. We have the Serenity leggings, which we all know and love, but can we introduce for the first time ever, the Alora legging? Yes. So they definitely came out with some of their staples that we all know and love. I mean, this bra right here, come on. You guys probably see it in a lot of my videos. When I'm randomly chit-chatting, I'll just be, oh yeah, by the way, wearing my Camel Fitness bra. This is always the bra that I just grab and go with. It's so comfortable. We have sports bras, crop tops, long sleeves, two different types of leggings dropping, a flare, and of course their Cozy Tech sweats. You remember they dropped around the fall time? Well, they're back. They're back and they're better than ever, thank you very much. Now, as beautiful as this color palette is, it is limiting because you have to like cool tones. Now, you have to live in a blue house with a blue little window and you have to have a blue Corvette and everything has to be blue for you. I'm blue, da -da 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 -da. Now, even though we're dropping some cozy texts, the colors are slightly different than the rest of the drop here. See what I'm wearing right now? This, this is not the same blue. You feel me? We got baby blue and then we got light blue. Those are two different blues, in case you didn't know. But they're, but they're different enough to where it, it really work. doesn't matter. It definitely can work, right? It's yeah. shade or two different. I mean, come on. I'm glad Camel Fitness named them two different colors and they're not trying to fool anybody. I've had brands literally come out with like <laughs> different, yeah. And then you go and grab the same color thinking you're just gonna match completely and you're like, damn dude, yeah. those are two different shades and you didn't fool anybody. Mm -hmm. Like the sports bra will be a different color than the sweatpants, Honor Active. When it comes to the cozy techs, this is probably what I'm most excited about. I'm a sweats girl for life. We have the colors meteorite, so gray, the only gray thing you're gonna see in this entire range. Then we have light blue, which I'm wearing in the bottoms. This is the deep blue color, which is Sonic the Hedgehog all day. Isn't it though? This is the royal blue. And then baby blue, which I'm wearing right up top here. Now, even though Camel Fitness is known for being super affordable, especially for the quality in which you get. If you'd like to save a little extra money, feel free to use our code. It's Ashley. It'll save you an additional 5%. Thank you so much, Faye. And of course, it helps go towards supporting this channel. So thank you very much. I, I got one eye on you guys and one eye on him right now. I'm trying to make sure he don't make a fool out of himself. And he is. And there he goes. Goodbye. <laughs> I think we all know which one is my favorite color. Hint, hint, whenever I start the video in a particular color, you already know that's gonna be my favorite. Let's start with this Clio bra. You've seen it in my other YouTube videos. This is nothing new that they're dropping, but what I love about this bra is its simplicity. It is so damn simple. You have thick straps, no bra pads or option to insert, but it is double lined. There's a curvature on the under bust. It's cute, but it doesn't do a whole lot. Like if you move around, it'll eventually make its way and just tuck in and not really be very noticeable. <laughs> Every single time I've ever seen a brand come out with this curve, they all end up the same way where my boob just kind of just eats it up. <laughs> now we don't have a band or any extra support. It is just a seam under here but that's all I really need for my breasts. So definitely a lower support bra, better for smaller breasts. No adjustments at all. Again, this is my grab and go bra. Now with most low support bras, I have to be mindful that my boobies just kind of want to explore a little bit. This is not <laughs> happening in this bra. Thank you, you laughed at my joke. They just want to make their way out and like do their own thing. I absolutely love the Cozy Tech sweats. They do a great job because they really are cozy. It's plush lining inside. Let's see what we're looking at here, folks. Let's flip it out. Yeah. It is a really, really heavy oh, wow. plush. Are you seeing this? This material, actually, Bay hates this material. Can't do it. He hates that we have a blanket like this. I love it. He hates it because his calluses get stuck on it. My and trophies, we call them trophies around yeah, these his, parts. I actually size up to a medium. Do you guys remember last time? The crotch rode up so much that I was like, okay, next time I'm absolutely sizing up in the bottoms. And that I did, and that I'm glad I did. 
So it's very comfortable, size medium. It's a little more relaxed than if I got my size small. You see this? You guys know I prefer baggier sweats. So if you're the same type of person, size on up. It won't hurt you any. Say it for the people in the back, size on up. Size up. Size up. Size up. I actually really like this chunky waistband. Got a thick elastic band. Look at that. And I actually love the fact that it doesn't cinch in too much. It just does a little hover action, which is very comfortable for me. Another reason why I'm glad I sized up. Now we do have two pockets. There's no zipper. I would have liked a zipper. That would have been a nice little additive, but whatever. Hang on a second. I have a really good idea. Hmm? So whenever I have sweatpants that don't have zip pockets uh -huh. and I put my phone in these pockets and I sit down in a chair, this is freestyling, by the way, folks. We didn't plan this. Here's what we're going to do. This is going to be called the cell phone pocket sit test. Oh, it's a great idea. Okay. This, actually, this happened once to Bay, where he was wearing sweats in my parents' car. Mm -hmm. He put his wallet in his pocket, and it must have fallen out when he was sitting. Like a he, water slide. It just... He lost his wallet for mad long. He had to go get, like, a new ID, a new this and a new that. Canceled all our cards. Finally, my mom's like, hey, I cleaned out the car today, and, like, here's your wallet. Dude, I had to start from scratch with that pizza cut out. That pizza punch out, you get 10 punches, you get a free pie. I, had a, I was like at like nine. Shame on you. So All from right. here on out, folks, this is how we're doing it. Let's see, G, what's the verdict? You got to sit back, act like you're putting a seatbelt on. Or if you're in class, you know, and nobody wants oh. their phone to fall in class. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> not terrible. It's, it's, it wants to make its way out, but that's when my, oh, yeah, look at that. it's when my feet are elevated. It's making a run for it. But just sitting, it's not terrible. But moving around, I mean, mm. it definitely is going to make its way out. You see that? That is why I love zippered pockets in all of my sweats. They're necessities. They kind of are. Zip the pocket. Do it. What's also great is the fact that these don't really move down. Check it out. I'm getting low to the floor asked grass and it really is just staying put. I'm really making you crack up back there, huh? Now, even though this is mostly cotton based plush lining, it doesn't have a ton of stretch, but this relaxed fit keeps me very mobile. There's no restriction, super happy with their cozy tech. Let's check out the tops though. They're dropping two different tops in the cozy tech. We're looking at a crew sweater and a full zip hoodie. I actually stuck with my true size small on the top. It's doable, but I almost wish I sized up for a little more of a, a little more of a relaxed fit. I'm gonna look and see if these are pre-shrunk or if these are gonna shrink because I feel like this material, this has a tendency to go American Girl doll, if you know what I mean. Does not say if it's pre-shrunk or not, but you can tell this is one of those things that are gonna tighten up once they hit a dryer. Okay. Just do yourself a favor when it comes to sweats. If you don't want them to shrink, don't touch a dryer or heat at all. That's my biggest, mm -hmm. my biggest advice for you. Just treat it like active wear. One thing I do have to say I like is this embroidered logo camo fitness. Same on the hip right here. Nice and embroidered, great quality. Go get them, cowgirl. Yeehaw. Oh, have mercy. Oh, she's about to catch a flight. Okay, so I went ham on the crew sweaters, but now that I have the full zip, I kind of like this more. I had these in the last launch, loved them, but I wanted to try the crews because they were different. Frig, I feel like a more relaxed fit in here, not as snug. And who doesn't love a full zip? Here, real quick, stay right there. The hood's where it's at though. I might wear this at the airport, I'm not kidding. We just got tickets to go see my bro in California. I'm excited, man. We just booked it for April. I'm already trying to plan out my outfits and this one might just make it because it's about a six hour flight. Hit me with an arm test though because I'm pretty sure those, your tummy's gonna be popping. Oh. Tummy be showing. I actually really like this it's, gray color. <laughs> yeah, I do too. And it settles well when you put your arms down. Like when you did that just before, when you put yeah. your arms down, it settled well. It, it does. Looks... It, it, right here, 
This cuffed band gives it that mushroom effect that I like. It just mm. blooms around you. Has a nice slouchy lay right around the waist. So I actually think that they constructed this set perfectly. How's the um, hood on that? Heavy hood syndrome? No heavy hood syndrome. It's very lightweight. Thank you for asking. Oh yeah. I don't think I need to size up in this one. The crew sweater I would. Good point, you're in a small, right? Yeah, I'm in a small. I would in the crew, but I just wouldn't in the zip. The zip is perfectly oversized for me. I'm sweating bullets. Oh my gosh, hold up. Are you gonna, you're not stealing my. Oh shoot. California love. He actually does attempt to steal a lot of my stuff, but this is not gonna happen because it's gonna be cropped on you. So I'm a large, right? If you are a size large, and you want a more form fit, this is how it'll lay. Put your arms forward, that ain't gonna work for you. Forward. Oh. Nah. Totally fine. That's not gonna happen. I steal your clothes, but you're not allowed to steal mine. Camo Fitness, come out with some men's stuff once in a while, why don't you? California love. Yep. Oh. When you know it's sonic blue, you just know. Wow, okay? that screams. This is a screamer. I don't know if I love this color as a full matching set specifically. What do you think? That's loud. I just had to try this color on because it kept staring at me. It was looking up at me and I was like, all right, I got you, I got you. Let me try you on. What do you guys think? <sighs> I'm definitely gonna stick with my light blue and my meteorite though. We have three different leggings we're gonna share with you today. Now, the Serenity, this one. <laughs> the Serenity you've seen before. So nothing new there. We're introducing the new Allura V-line legging. We have the V-seam in the front and the back and a very subtle scrunch, but check out this scrunch. It goes normal seam, little scrunch segment right here, and then it goes normal again. So the scrunch is only about like this big in the center of this glute seam. We will see how this turns out. You know I love my scrunch bombs. But I'm also very picky with my scrunch bombs. Can't, you just can't take any scrunch bomb and just make do. It has to fit you and it has to do its job, most importantly. Especially with Amazon brands, which don't forget, Camo Fitness is. It's true. Camo Fitness is in fact an Amazon brand too. Lastly, we're gonna try on the flare. This is the Allura V-Line flare. It has a 31 inch inseam, whereas the leggings are 25 inches. I was happy with the 25 inches. I know I'm good there. 31 though, I'll be damned. All right, babe, what should we start with? Why don't we break out those Allura leggings? Those are new. The Allura. Yeah, yeah let's do that. That. Let's see what they have to offer. Hell yeah. Oh. Camo. It works. Do not throw that. Thank you. <laughs> I know you and you would have thrown it. Okay, you guys know my favorite Camo Fitness lagging to date is their Feather Light Enhanced. I love it because it has that natural glute seam, it's internal. I feel like the lightweight fabric is just perfect for summertime. This would be more of a mid-weight Camo Fitness legging. If you're familiar with their Serenity, their Serenity legging and this new Allura legging are awfully similar. They're similar in the fact that they're both made out of the same fabric pretty much. So to the touch, they feel almost identical, but when worn, I definitely feel a little bit of a difference. I'm feeling in this new Allura, more stretch, a little bit more breathability, and let's not forget the, uh, the big factor. There's a scrunch patch right here. I definitely feel like your glutes are more enhanced in this legging than say the original Serenity. I mean, it definitely does a little something something back here, but one thing I have to make note, it almost hovers a bit. I don't know if I just don't have the full upper booty cheeks to fill this out and make it work, but I feel like if that scrunch was taken down just, just a half an inch, we'd be a little bit better into business here. I see what they're trying to do with that. I personally think that the internal glute seam that they had, that scrunch on the Featherlight Enhance was the best they've ever come out with. That would have been great to see on these. So these wouldn't be as lightweight as the Featherlight because those are tough to work out in. They're so thin and lightweight. These feel more acceptable to wear to the gym, okay? A little more rough and tough, a little more durable. 25 inch inseam is where it's at though. My tall girls, this will not work for you. I mean, it's above my ankle. All right, let's take it to the gym, folks. Yeah. Let's get out of this musty, dusty old studio and see what the gym has It's not dusty, I actually clean it. Yeah, no thanks to you. dusty as fuck. New equipment, who dis? So, if you guys remember, we picked up this inner and outer thigh machine from Titan Fitness off of Amazon. 
and we're really, really, really happy with it. So we went back for seconds. We picked up this adjustable chest press and then we picked up this calf raise machine over here. Chest press is amazing. They did a great, 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 great job. It's adjustable so you can do incline, decline, a regular flat. Calf machine though, no bueno. I'm actually talking to them to send it back. Titan Fitness is a great brand all around you guys, but sometimes you know it's okay if it just doesn't work how you want it to. A little too unstable, a little too small. Are you showing them that piece of shit calf machine? Not for us, but it's okay. So two out of three, not bad. Still better than French fitness. Look it's all this. good. Oh my God, feels like I'm on a, one of those roller coasters that are made out of wood. <laughs> You're on the cyclone, baby. Okay, so oh, this yeah. is not cellulite friendly. I could already tell the Serenity has a bit more cellulite coverage. The material is like a little bit thicker, a little more supportive, smooths you out better. This is more lightweight gym because I could see the cellulite right here. Now, let's go test it on the treadmill. Yes. Yes, sir, sir. Okay, so right now let's test for jiggle, which equals support. Like how much support are we feeling in the legs? How much jiggle is it giving us? Right now, there's not a ton of support. This is a low mm -hmm. to moderate support legging. Probably give it a moderate, but it's 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 right there at the cusp below to moderate. I'm jiggling, I could feel that. Crunch isn't staying in place. It looks like it's popping out as you're walking consistently. I definitely think if you're in between like size on down, mm. because I I can slightly feel this falling back here. I mean it's nothing crazy, it's not gonna fall down, but I, I don't feel like it's gonna stay properly, especially if I really up this cardio. Uh-oh. I know, right? Hey, I've been running lately. You guys would be so proud of me. She has. I'm not good at it, but I'm doing it. Well, practice makes perfect. Yeah, I wouldn't run in these leggings necessarily. Feel a little shift. I think I could have gotten away with sizing down, but do keep in mind these are on the affordable side. Mm. So if you're in the market for something really lightweight like this, if you have the glutes to fill this out, upper glutes specifically, maybe you would really love this. But for me, I don't know if this is quite working for me. I might have to stick to the normal Serenity leggings. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really maintain shape yeah. well. Right here around the crotch, I'm seeing some gathering. And behind the knees. Which means to me that this is slowly making its way down. Let me show you. Oh, you could totally see it slide. Yeah, like, you can see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, I think some gathering here. I think uh, sizing down would help with excess material, but I don't think it's going to resolve all the issues I'm having. So that was the cardio aspect. Now let's uh, talk about some stretching and weight I, bearing. I will have to say though, it is very comfortable. The legging itself is comfortable. So I'm sh I could stretch, very nice, there's no restriction. Yeah, but it looks like you're gonna be slipping a little bit back there as you squat. Yeah, I can feel like there's gonna be a gape, hold on. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, but it's nothing Baby. to write home about, I mean. Baby gape. Well, yeah. keep in mind, there's really no tummy control. Seeing that extra material makes me believe sizing down altogether would have been my best bet. Whoop. Being that these are more breathable than the Serenity, I actually want to see how wicking they really are. We fixed the spray bottle, by the way, guys. I don't know if you caught it, but Ashley gave it the, uh, the people's elbow. The people's elbow. She gave it the people's A-town stomp. Whoa, camel, put it down, girl, put it away. Whoa, holy shnikes. A little bit of sweat you can see showing through in some spots. This is a double lined band, so it's going through the band, but boy, if that didn't dry off my skin. So mm. this is a very, very breathable legging. I think this is a great summertime legging. Let's work out in it. Let's see how it feels doing some machines. Oh yeah. Okay, so personally, me personally speaking, I like low support leggings when working out because I don't get digs anywhere. Like when I'm sitting right here, I'm not getting so smooshed into my waist. I know there's a time and a place, your preference, if you need some support here, or you prefer that extra tummy control, this won't give you that. And I can see why people gravitate towards those leggings, but me personally, unless I'm really running or doing hit, my basic weight training doesn't really require me to have that intensive a legging. So low support is usually how I go. Specifically, comfort. Comfort is my top priority when working out. Oh man, this weight's heavy. Good job. Ooh, that burned. That burned like some overcooked chicken, baby. Hitting them with the gravity test. Let's do some back mm. extensions. 
we're going to call this the NASA test. We're testing gravity. Gravity. Speaking of NASA, you guys see that we landed on the moon again? <laughs> oh my goodness. Just put my arms down so you could see. Do you see this? I'm like hanging up here and this still has so much grab right here where it counts, but the straps aren't overly tight, which I love. If you're in between, definitely size down, but my true size is perfect. I actually tend to wear this bra when I'm going out for the day, running errands, when I'm going out to the mall, my sister-in-law, my mother-in-law, everybody. And when I wanna be comfortable all day and not have bra straps digging into me anywhere, this is the bra I always use. Hey, real quick, mm -hmm. talk to me about that scrunch. While you're doing that motion, did yeah. you feel the scrunch riding up? Nope. Getting stretched up in there? No, you don't feel the scrunch at all. Nice. It's good. It's not an intrusive scrunch one bit. You ain't gonna feel it. Good stuff. <sighs> nice work. All right. All right, you are locked and loaded. Spank you. Oh yeah. Ooh, like a pro wrestler over here. Look at you. Stop. The thing about this bra that I actually appreciate is that there's no side boob. I have a ton of side boob. Like, the Lord blessed me in different ways, but when it comes in the booby department, he took all my cleavage and put it over here. So like, all my weight is right on the sides. It's like he was texting while he was building you up. So anyways, I got a ton of side boob and my boobs tend to slide out with a lot of sports bras, but this bra doesn't. Look at that coverage right here. Yes. <sighs> I haven't worked chest in a minute. Doesn't that feel good? This is your first time using this right now. I know. Guys, we, we were here all last night building this. <laughs> when I say we, I mean just Bay and I was watching. Oh my God. Oh, snap. I'm, I'm feeling muscles that are just, they're resurrecting. And it's been so long since they've been out, shining out. Oh, okay. Nice. Uh, Four. What we're testing for right now, folks, is whether or not these straps fall off the sides of her shoulders, because if you could tell, they're kind of wide cut right <laughs> they here. They are. These are very wide set yeah. straps, and but they're it's... so thicky, but never not once did I take this off and have like marks anywhere. It's, just, it's great for all day wear. How good did that feel? That's the first time you did a proper chest press since we were going to Alpha Fitness in Newton, New Jersey. Shout out, they're the best. If you're in Sussex County, go to Alpha Fitness in Newton, New Jersey, or in Ledgewood, they just opened up down there. Good gym, better people. If you're doing some serious extensions, mm. say you're moving back, don't wear this to yoga. Mm -hmm. If you're gonna do some back extensions, be mindful when you're stretching. That's the only mm -hmm. thing with this bra because all of the support and snugness is right here. Let's move on. Oh my gosh. I want to try on a new top, shall we? Sure. How about let's try on the crop top. Okay, something I need to make mention is Camo Fitness has so many loose like threads, fabric just hanging on. Not like ones you have to snap off the piece, but just random little pieces of fabric that just end up on these sets. I spend all day just picking off string. Yeah, look at this shit. Look at it, there's just like- oh, Hold on, hold on. It's everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> like there's just random threads. If you have pets. You might need to invest in a really nice heavy duty lint roller. I mean, I just, you know, I've been picking them off all day. I just want to share with you guys the inside of this top. It is a oh, wow. molded bra inside here. Yo, yeah. Real quick, hold that up and hold it very still. Okay. Tell me that doesn't look like Spider-Man eyes. <sighs> you would. Spider-Man eyes. Nah, dude. Enough of Spider-Man. Never enough. So we already got support. You don't have to wear any bras. Or do you? Let's find out. Oh. You like that? The suspense is killing me. Oh. I fucking love Spider-Man. All honest. right, baby, you done talking. <laughs> okay. Nice. Couple things. Oh. First of all, I love the idea of this. I do. Built-in bra, t-shirt. <laughs> what the hell are you laughing at? She said, I love the idea of this. That's how you know it's a setup. All right, but. Couple things. <laughs> Let's back up into some natural light, please, or else I'm just gonna look like shit this whole time. Okay, Impossible. so right now, what I'm feeling, this feels like it's very wide on my neck. Like this is kind of off the shoulder where this seam wants to be placed right at top of the shoulder. This is wide set, which is cool. That's the style. But if it stays like this, I'm just feeling a lot of extra space in the boob department. I don't have the boobs to fill this bra out. I'm feeling so much extra space here. Like, mm. do you see this? But 
at the same time, this is with every single solitary molded cup yeah. that you have ever put on your body. Literally. You have the exact same reaction to. So it's not a Camo Fitness exclusive. No. So this top wouldn't work for me, but I think if you're bigger breasted, you could fit into this. I think I would absolutely need to size down given this fact. Okay, going like this, this is where the elastic band uh, ended up, unfortunately. And it, where's where's your bulk of your boob? My boob's right here. And the band is where? And the band is right up here. So oh. it's above my nipple. So unfortunately, like moving in this, no. Like I wouldn't wear it to the gym. Mm. I feel like this would just be a casual wear. Like I'm gonna go out to walk my dog and then go grocery shopping and then get my nails done. That kind of thing. Casual walk-in, talking with your girlfriends, grabbing some lunch, an acai bowl kind of thing. Some girls just wanna have fun shit. Do me a favor, raise your arms one more time and then when you put your arms down, hold still. Up and then down. Now don't move. Holy mackerel, Andy, it's like a cave. It's, it's a firm fabric around the shoulders, so when you move, it doesn't stay put, it actually stays yeah. where you last were. This is folding a bit, and what's causing that is this bra pad. Mm. So right here, this you see is coming up, and then this is drooping down a yeah. bit. Yeah, and then we so. got some bulky seam yeah. actions on the shoulders. Some you look bulky. like you got shoulder like pads. Like when you move in this, just even lifting your arms to grab yourself a chip and with some salsa. I'm thinking, because I'm going to a Mexican restaurant with my girlfriends tomorrow, so I'm thinking chips and salsa. <laughs> this just will bunch up. So I'm not gonna wear this for chips and salsa tomorrow. <laughs> Next. I'm gonna try on the Serenity legging now. Ooh, now we're talking. And I am going to wear it with the long sleeve. Ooh. Okay. That's an outfit. I believe this is the same thing, just long sleeve, now that I'm thinking about it. But we might have an easier go of it now, folks, because if you look, long sleeves, maybe the more fabric we have on the arms. The less it'll ride up. The less it'll ride up. So let's, let's test for that, huh? Yeah. Okay. You're cooking in that, girl. Wow. Thank you. So this is royal blue, huh? It's a little snug right here. So in between, definitely size up rather than down. Whereas I would say the opposite for the short sleeve. Now I actually can't wear the thumb holes in this because it's too tight and it pulls on my thumb. So it's not the most comfortable. So I don't plan to utilize the thumb holes. But other than that, this looks and is, is fitting a lot better overall. Good, good. Even the cups don't feel as gigantic on me. You're still gonna have run the same risk of going like this. Like it's still gonna move up, it is. Upsy daisy and down she goes. So when you lift your arms up, same deal. Yeah. Okay, I'm doing my little handy dandy under the bra tuck just to see how it would look as a crappie. Too bulky though, it's it too is. much material too to much roll material. up. Now I am wearing the regular Serenity 25 inch inseam leggings. Let me just show you guys mm -hmm. what the back looks like. Okay, still makes the glutes look okay. It's just, there's no scrunch. Now I'm feeling more compression right here. So if you want something with more support, better with cellulite, honestly, less overall slipping and something not as lightweight, this would be it. Looks much more true to size too. It is much more true to size. Only thing is, this is not as breathable. So it's definitely trapping more heat than the A-line. Wow. This might be one of my favorite sets so far. Who would have thought? Not me. We are looking at the Allura V-Line Flare 31 inch inseam with chunky sneaks. It just made it for me. Paired with the black Everly long sleeve top. Now, this is so much better. This does not have any internal bra, no bra pads, not even an elastic band for support. It's just a basic long sleeve top. However, they added in some scrunch right here. It's a little bit of ruching to bring up the sides. Still an overall midi fit, but I feel like it pairs well and snatches in the waist just a bit. There's no thumb holes. It's not overly tight, but if you're in between size up in these, it's very body fit, but it is stretchy. You see that? So there's a nice amount of stretch. We're looking good here. Okay, so it does right up, but because there's no actual built-in bra like moving and shifting up with you, 
It's not as bad. It really does work with these leggings, doesn't it? Definitely, for sure. You look like you're about to save the world from an alien invasion. Yeah, that's what I'd like to hear. The good guys dress in black, remember that, just in case you ever come face to face and make contact. The title held by me, MIB, is what you think you saw, you did not see. He would know that. So this is the Allura, just like the legging that I showed you in the beginning. This is that, but flare version. I'm not really detecting the scrunch as much here. Are you? Yeah, I'm not really seeing any. Another piece of fat right there it is. It's very discreet and undetectable in this black color. Ooh, the black spot on. I wasn't sure when I put it on, I was like, is this gonna bother me with how loose it is around the kneecaps? But not really. It doesn't come super tight around the knees. There's some slack right here. And then you have a slight little baby flare. Nothing crazy. In between size down in the pants. This, this, and then uh So we're outro in it right now? Yeah. What the hell are you looking at, dude? I'm allowed, I put a ring on it, guys. My first no-brainer pick here would be these sports bras. I love them. Love them so much, wear them way too often. I stand by this one. <laughs> then I would have to go with the Serenity legging. Tried, true, and tested. Been here, done that, still want them. The Cozy Tech sweat set. I can't even believe I'm gonna say this, but the meteorite is actually winning the game right now. So if I'm picking between the crew neck or the zip hoodie, it's gonna be the zip hoodie. Didn't expect it, but that's just the name of the game. That's um, life. The flares are a definite. I will say though, if we're the same similar height, you have to wear some chunky sneaks with this. Mm. This is right about where it's falling. Okay, so it just made it. Look, it looks like I'm kicking you. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you found it helpful. Stay tuned for the launch February 27th so you don't miss out the Azure collection. And again, code Ashley does save you 5% off of your Camo Fitness orders. Thank you so much if you do choose to use it. Help support me and Bay over here. We're gonna use the commission to buy more active wear. Put it back in the business, baby. We always reinvest it. Thank you guys so much for being here. Comment down below, what's your favorite piece? Are you shopping this drop? Let us know. We love you guys, and we will catch you in our next video that we will do. Bye. Bye.